I just feel that we readers always do some things that we really shouldn't do. And I came across this tag and I really thought that it was really interesting, so I wanted to do it. And this tag name is Reader Confessions Tag. So all the confessions and things like that. So I really wanted to confess all these things to you and we'd better get started. Please don't hate me afterwards. My name is Catherine and welcome to my channel. So I'm going to start with the questions now and the first question is have you ever damaged a book? And my answer is yes, I did damage a book and when I thought about this question the first book that came to mind was Shaman's Crossing by Robin Hobb and this is the first book in the Soldier's Son trilogy and what happened is that when I went to the seaside I brought this book with me and I brought it to the beach and I was reading it there and the book fell into the water so as you can see it is quite damaged and so it was opened like this and then it fell to the floor and it was really really wet and this is what happened. I don't really know if you can see but... And the other thing that I have to confess is that when I'm reading a book I don't use bookmarks. I make dog ears and I do it on purpose. So when I'm reading a book, when I finish reading and I do this, then I close the book and then when I start reading the book again I do this and it is almost like nothing happened and I know that a lot of people don't like when someone else do this to a book but it's just an old habit of mine and I really hate bookmarks and I hate them because they fall out and then I don't know where I am in the book and things like that but I do that and why I wanted to show you this book so this is Lord of the Shadows by Jennifer Fallon this is one of my favorite trilogies or the Second Sons trilogy and this happened to the spine because I read this book so many times and the spine broke and this is paperback book I don't really love hardback books but I hate when it happens to the paperbacks and I read this book so many times so the spine got broken and things like that but there is nothing I can do about it just let me put those books somewhere because they're going to fall and then they're going to get even more damaged than they are. Okay, so the second question is, have you ever damaged a borrowed book? And for this one I really have to say no, because I would never ever damage a book that is not mine. So I don't make dog ears to books like that, I don't throw those books into the water and I don't bring them to the beach. Yes. And I just wanted to tell you something really interesting. So here in Serbia, because if you didn't know, I'm from Serbia, we call dog ears, so the thing that you do to the pages, we call them donkey ears. So if you translated the Serbian saying into English, it would be called donkey ears. I make little donkeys from my books. I have a lot of little donkeys. So the next question is, how long does it take you to read a book? If the book is good, I might read it in a few hours, in one day, but if I don't really like the book, then I might need a few more days, so about five or six days or even a week to read the book. And if I don't like that book if that I'm reading immediately, then I usually stop reading it for some time, then I pick up some other book that I like more, and then after some time I return to that book that I didn't like, because I don't really love leaving my books unread, unfinished. Books that you haven't finished. I don't really leave my books unfinished, as I've already said, so there isn't any book that I haven't finished if I started reading it. The next question, you're going to hate me after this one, but the next question is hyped or popular books that you didn't like? Throne of Glass, Kiss of Deception, Fault in Our Stars, 
Do you have anything else to say? I really didn't enjoy these books. Everyone else did and I'm really not happy about it because I really wanted to enjoy them and I heard so many great things about them but I didn't really love them as much as I thought that I would. Classics she didn't enjoy. I really didn't enjoy this one classics that we had to read it for school. So this is The Stranger by Albert Camus. I think it is called Stranger, I'm not sure. But I didn't, didn't really enjoy this book and I wouldn't really want to read it again, ever. Books you bought just for the intellectualness of it all. So I bought War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy and I read it and I really bought it because there are three books and all the people are speaking how it is really difficult to read his books because they're so long but I don't mind long books so I read it and I really did enjoy it and I also read Anna Karenina or whatever it is pronounced in English and I also enjoyed that so but I did buy it for the sake of intellectualness. Any books you haven't given back? Well, I always give my books back. I read them really quickly and the moment I read them I give them back. So I don't have any books that I haven't given back. But there are some books that other people didn't give back to me and I'm really angry because some of the books I will probably never see again because it happened uh, many many years ago and I'm not really friends with that particular person anymore so I think that I will never see those books again but there is nothing I could do about it so now I would really like to tag some people to do this tag because I think that we all have some confessions to do let's be honest I'm going to look up and see who hasn't done this tag yet and I'm going to leave their names in the description below so I'm going to tag him, her, it, it, <laughs> if there are any aliens who would like to do this tag. Feel free to do it. I mean, I would love to see aliens doing this tag. Why not? And if you did enjoy me doing all these confessions, give me thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment below and tell me if you do any of these things and if you have something to confess. Do this tag and leave the link in the description below for me to watch it and I'll see you in some of my next videos.